And welcome you to Polar Tunes coming at you with this beautiful, clear, third party GameCube slash Wii <laughs> controller. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I found this controller at Second and Charles. I came across this controller and, uh, I, you know, I had to get it, you know. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of third-party controllers, but GameCube accessories and games are so expensive right now. The GameCube is uh, is is definitely one of the systems that uh, is very pricey right now. Um, so the only reason why I actually was able to find this is because... Uh, I just ordered a GameCube from DK Oldies, and uh, honestly, I had planned on doing a video about uh, my order and uh, and how that went this weekend, but uh, it didn't really go quite as planned. So. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to just get right into uh, making a video talking bad about them. I'm trying to give them a chance to see what they do. Um, but I don't really want to get into that yet. Uh, the game that I ordered, it wasn't working. So, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video regarding all of that. I'm trying to give them the opportunity. I don't want to just shit on them because... I have faith in them. I went to Second and Charles because I have no GameCube games right now. And I wanted to try to find a game that was similar to what I wanted. And uh, they had like maybe two or three like soccer games, you know, the stuff that nobody wants that, you know, winds up a Dollar General, stuff like that. And then they had like Shrek 2. Um, so yeah, I wasn't going to waste money on, on that. And then I came across this controller. And I figured, hey, they just sent me a controller I'm not really happy with. This is only $13. It is third party. I know it's not official, but hey, Nintendo GameCube controllers are already expensive. That's going to be really expensive. Hell, the Indigo slash Clear one is like $130. So yeah. But I found this, and I figured, you know, since I wasn't able to pick up a game, this would, uh, th this would at least make me feel like, hey, I didn't just waste that trip for nothing. All right, so let's get this open. Yeah, so right off the bat, this controller ah. just looks at, hey, man, I'm trying to record a video over here. Don't you stick your tongue out at me. Hey. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, something I really like about this controller is that, you know, uh, the official controller, you know, it says, uh, it says Nintendo GameCube right here. Um, and a lot of third-party controllers actually love to put their little brand logo right here. I gotta give it to these guys. Uh, what is that, Sarka? Or Sarka? I gotta give it to them. They didn't bother to put their logo right there. See, right here, uh, this is the controller that they actually gave me with my system. See, that's what I mean. Like, uh, this company wanted to splat their logo right here. Like, I'm sorry, but unless you're an official Nintendo controller, I don't want to see this. So, I, I love how they just left that out right there. I wish I had an official controller to really compare this to, but uh, off of memory, I mean, this this feels pretty good. I mean, the buttons don't feel stiff. The D-pad feels pretty good. Hell, actually, I actually like the D-pad on this brand a lot better. It feels a lot smoother. 
uh, like I could really feel the click in there. This one, it kind of feels like there's a slight delay. Nothing you can't get past, but just all around, this is uh, amazing. I love clear controllers. Now, I will say this though, I don't know why, but it feels a lot lighter than this. It feels like it's got a little bit of wet, not, not all, it's not that much of a difference. But, but yeah, so anyways, uh, I know this isn't really a gaming channel, but uh, I just like to post videos of stuff that interests me. So stay tuned next week because I'll be uh, reviewing my order from uh, DK Oldies.